Good morning, everyone. Sustainability has been a focus for all nations these days. Discussions are happening among global leaders at different platforms, whether it's G20, COP, on environment challenges, climate change, and moving towards a flexible, cleaner, and a greener solution. But need of the hour is a concrete plan towards collective action. The Global Sustainability Alliance is an effort towards encouraging such discussions around the G20 theme, One Earth, One Family and One Future, talking partnerships and collaborations and resulting actions among world leaders. As we say, it's time for action, sustainability and beyond. Joining us for such an interesting discussion today is Mr. Nadir Godrej, Chairman and Managing Director, Godrej Industries and Chairman Godrej Agrovet. We welcome you, sir, for this discussion. Starting off, it is sure words to say what Godrej Industry has been doing towards its commitment towards sustainability and it's building a greener India and innovating for good and green products. So, sir, how would you like to talk in terms of taking this forward, your green journey for the chemical business industry and more? Thank you. The Godrej Group are members of the World Business Council for Sustainable Development and I'm on the Executive Council of the WBCSD. And as members, we all have targets. Uh, we adhere to science-based targets. We try to be uh, water positive, carbon positive, and solid waste positive. Uh, way back in 2010, we started our Good and Green program, uh, even before CSR was mandated. And now our CSR activities are all part of the Good and Green program, in which we focus a lot on the environment and in trade. Within the businesses, we try to have in our chemical businesses, we have green chemistry, uh, we uh, reduce our carbon footprint, we use a lot of green energy, we use a lot of uh, biomass and some amount of solar energy. We do cogeneration with biomass, so both our electricity and our steam comes from very green sources. Uh, we also innovate for new chemicals, one of which is sulfurolipids. So lipids are very powerful surfactants. They are produced by yeast. We do it by biofermentation. And so lipids have antibacterial and antiviral properties. And we are also using sulfurolipids so to make nanourea. And nanourea can be an extremely sustainable product. I think what all you mentioned, it's great when we talk about sustainability and beyond. My next question would be like, as a business leader, how do you make sure that we manage our business profitability with sustainable agendas in mind? And what are your thoughts when you think about environment protection, thinking all your business initiatives? Right. Um, because of climate change, mm -hmm. uh, considering the environment is a must, we also have to be nature positive, uh, preserve biodiversity, uh, often biodiversity, preserving biodiversity also helps carbon sequestration because forests are the best carbon sequesters. And trees planted for a purpose, where there, there are fruit trees or trees that produce nuts, or in our case, we have a very large oil palm business. The trees that the farmers grow on agricultural land actually sequester a lot of carbon. Not only that, the trees help to bring rain in the area. And we have noticed that wherever there are palm plantations in India, the monsoon is more steady because it's a tree. So, uh, and it would also be useful to have mixed forestry where tribals could take the benefits of some of the fruits and nuts and the biodiversity could be preserved. So through CSR, we are trying to do experiments in this area as well. We don't think there is a challenge for profits from sustainability. We have not reduced profits one iota in our sustainability Clean. efforts uh, because energy efficiency is uh, certainly pays for itself. Many of our energy efficiency projects had 100% ROIs. And in fact, we should be looking for more of these. Then green energy today is cheaper in India. Uh, Recently, the prices of green energy have gone up because the government has mandated 5% biomass use yeah. in gold 
plants. So we are now looking at new alternatives such as bamboo. People have approached us with varieties of bamboo that are low ash. We are seriously looking at that, experimenting with that, and maybe we will develop the ecosystem along with farmers to grow these varieties of bamboo. And lots of uh, the whole industry could use this as a very green fuel source. The nice thing about bamboo is as the stalks grow, the roots keep on sequestering yes. carbon and we don't cut the roots, we only cut the stalks. So it's a double win. It's a carbon negative uh, technology for energy. We also, in Godrej's consumer products, we try to make uh, products that use less plastic. We make concentrated products, which a consumer can add water to and make the final product. So less plastic is used. We are trying to recycle more and more plastic and effectively dispose of whatever plastic cannot be recycled, either by putting it into cement or converting it into diesel or any other useful purpose. I think this is a great example what Godrej is doing when we say that's a challenge to maintain profitability with, with keeping in mind the targets of sustainability. Definitely it's a great job as a brand what we are doing. But my next question would be that we all talking innovations and I'm sure driving profitability with sustainability is incomplete unless we are innovating ourselves. And you being into the domain of agri and all, so would you like to talk about some of the latest innovations when we say smart water and agri solutions in your bread business? Yes. Uh, one of the innovations I already mentioned was uh, Sephora Wits. Yeah. Uh, the other thing we have been doing is a lot of watershed development. Okay. Uh, these are not our own innovation, but we work with partners and we find that watershed developments are very economical. Not only they provide livelihoods in drought prone areas for the farmers there, trees are grown there which uh, sequester carbon. There are multiple benefits to all of these. Uh, it, we are trying to develop, uh, as I said, nano urea, which is environmentally very sustainable because much less urea has to be used and all the urea effectively ends up in the plant. So there is no pollution from the excess nitrogen. Mm -hmm. Often that goes into uh, nitrogen oxide gases, uh, which are polluting. So uh, usually when you find a sustainable solution to innovation, you save costs and save the environment, mm -hmm. as we do with all our green energy. So, and uh, as I said, we are innovating with bamboo. We have a new R&D center where we are trying to make uh, many different chemical platforms for Aztec life sciences. And there also we will focus on having simpler chemistry, greener chemistry, and any waste products that are there. First of all, we'll try and reduce the waste product. If there are waste products, we will try to boost them somehow or the other. That saves costs and the environment. Great, great. That's great to hear. So also we would like to understand from you that sustainability we all are topping is a little complex and multifaceted issue. It needs more collaborations and partnerships. How do you see private sector collaborating with different leaders, talking government or other sectors and how we together can build a more sustainable agenda for the nation? Right. We have to collaborate and we belong to different sustainability groups. The World Economic Forum yeah. has a sustainability group where we are members of that. As part of G20, I was in a task force for energy transitions. I'm also going to have a task force for startups, so, uh, trying to encourage sustainable startups in all the G20 countries. So there are all these collaborations. Then I mentioned the World Business Council for Sustainable yeah. Development. We cooperate with them and all the other Indian members and international members to try and find common solutions. And as part of our Good and Green program, we work with uh, many NGOs. Other companies also work with these NGOs. And so we try and form a network which uh, reduces the cost of sustainable solutions. And another very important thing is we place a lot of focus on scope one and scope two. Okay. But now we are uh, focusing on scope three. So we are trying to find out the uh, carbon footprints, water footprints of our suppliers. Then we will try and favor the ones who are more ecologically sensitive, give them incentives and of course share knowledge with all our suppliers because they can learn from our own journey and that helps us reduce our scope emissions. Yeah, that's great. 
there's a lot what you are doing but i would like to end on a note to understand that talking about g20 presidency or the cup coming cop what are the agendas which godrej is planning to focus on next the main agenda is to focus on everyone becoming sustainable and uh, one thing that in our uh, we can all do together is to have some kind of carbon price or carbon incentive or mandate yeah. that encourages us to do it as i said many of the things come free of charge yeah but some things we could do even more but it costs money yeah. so if we have some incentive to do that or we are penalized for bad behavior yeah. either way there's a very strong incentive to do good so we would encourage governments we see the major role of governments is to provide these mandates or incentives or carbon trading to encourage us to do even more yeah. yeah would you like to leave a message for our uh, listeners about how you would like to advocate this idea of sustainability and how everyone should embed that into their process yes uh, don't think of sustainability as a cost think of sustainability as a benefit uh the environment like say the government likes it now finance sustainable finance is becoming very common so banks like like it uh it it does you good and it isn't a real cost you don't have to spend money but you do have to spend managerial time and that is not a real cost because along with that managerial time her would you get economic savings uh you can turn waste into wealth and have a double benefit of being sustainable as well as being profitable so don't worry about the pay but always focus on the gain yeah amazing it was great to chat with you sir thank you so much for all the insights you have given as a business leader and definitely we take this discussion forward we will meet and after the cop happens so that we have more takeaways too thank you sir thank you very much